regular viewers of this channel will remember the Aurea screwdriver set and case opening tools and all that. Um, I'm going to modify this. Uh, it's lacking one feature that I really, really enjoy in another set I have that is similar to this. And what it is, is here. If you look, it has this hex-shaped opening. And it's not very deep. The problem is, no matter what bit I take, I'll just take any one at random, that doesn't fit. This thing, even though it's bigger, or looks bigger, doesn't fit. And this thing also doesn't fit either which way. So that's no good. What am I going to do with this? I'm actually going to drill through it. The reason why is sometimes you'll come across a screw that is held so steadfastly that no amount of regular screwdrivering is going to make it come loose. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Here's a laptop that's sitting around, and these screws aren't terribly tight, so you can see I can take those out no problem. But sometimes you'll get some screws that are either so tightly in there, uh, sometimes you'll find this, especially on laptops, on the hard drives. For some reason, the screws in there, if you need to replace the drive, are just so hard to turn, and you end up stripping them out in that. And no matter how much pressure you put on it, you just can't seem to break it loose. Now, with a good bit and a good tip on your screwdriver, uh, it really shouldn't slip. And that is one of the main reasons people end up stripping screws is because they use the wrong size bit. But what I wanted to show you is this opening here, which looks like it might be useful. What you can do is if you had a through hole in that, you can put a tool through that Okay, so in other words, you can have that go through. Imagine it were longer, you know, maybe as long as my finger. And that way you have a whole thing you can turn, okay, while you exert pressure downwards. And you can really bear down on it to get that bit to bite into the screw real well. And then you can turn it and, you know, 90 some odd percent of the time, that's going to work. For this, it looks like this bit will be just perfect. It doesn't interfere with the little hex opening, not that that's ever going to make any difference. And I would expect that the, well I guess we should test that first. Yeah, see? If you see right here, that does not go all the way through. So it'll still work. So let me go ahead and drill that now. Okay, the idea is to basically just drill this as straight as possible. I'm only doing this freehand. We only have one shot. I shouldn't need to punch it or anything, although I do have a punch. We'll just give it a shot. I'm going at a low speed. And there we are. I don't know if you can see, but it's drilled through. You can see my hand through it. That's perfect. So there's a couple little burrs there that uh, will work themselves out in time. And I guess really the best thing, since I don't have a screwdriver handy enough, is I'll just use the drill bit. Okay, so you can get the idea. We'll put this thing back in to make sure that uh, we didn't interfere, there we go, right in, you can still see through it, no problem, and then again, like I said, if you had a real heavy screw, you can put a device through there and make something like that, and now you have a handle that you can turn while you push down really hard, and again, with the right bit, you should be able to get your screw out. So that's one feature that this driver should have had, but didn't, but that was quickly taken care of by a simple drill bit. 
and uh, now this set is just about perfect. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.